Hi, everybody. Happy holidays. Uh, thank you for joining us for these stories about belonging. Now, I just want to paint a picture for you. Imagine that you are uh, just out of college. Uh, you've had actually a pretty good college football career, but you go undrafted. So you are now working and packing uh, groceries in a grocery store, and you're making at that time $5.50 an hour. And you're wondering, what the heck is next? Now, could you imagine that somewhere at the end of this story, that same person ends up being a two-time winner of the most valuable player in the NFL, becomes the only uh, undrafted quarterback ever to win a Super Bowl, and to be also the only player ever to be the most valuable player of a Super Bowl and the MVP of the year, ends up leading a team uh, that is referred to as the greatest show on turf and ends up in the Hall of Fame. Now, what happened there? What happened from undrafted, packing groceries, career done, to Hall of Famer? Well, that's the story of an underdog. And that, of course, is the Kurt Warner story that's going to be uh, showing in a Hollywood produced uh, movie here shortly. And I'm looking forward to it. And I'll tell you why. Because all of us in many ways are underdogs. We just are. And I would be foolish to say that we're going to have a Hollywood story ending in most of our lives to be in the Hall of Fame. But something between being underdogs and the path there. I think is available to all of us. The conditions are though, that we have to ourselves, first of all, want to and have faith that we can really further and contribute in a more complete way. And that's an essence of belonging, right? We have to want to, nothing's gonna happen for us if we don't have this want to. And I'm not talking about fitting in and just trying to be, you know, uh, change ourselves. I'm talking taking our authentic selves and to believe that we can move forward and make a contribution and we want to and we have an aspiration to do it and we also then have to ask for help and kurt warner did in his story he got unbelievable help from his uh wife brenda and from his family and also from his faith and his internal faith whatever our faith may be that inspiration from that as well and by asking for that help he also got help from leaders around him who gave him an opportunity, who believed in him and made room for him against all odds. When it was all the stats said that he couldn't, he wouldn't, he wasn't capable. So for those of us who, and most of us are underdogs, very few of us have a straight path uh, where it's easy and the, and the road is smooth and we're given all the gifts and we just go down that highway. Most of us, most of us are packing groceries sometimes. And I'm not diminishing that. I, I'm, a, I'm a Safeway pack boy. I'm really not. My point is, is that we can be stuck. And, if, and so to this whole notion of stories of belonging are combinations of what we do individually to want to move forward to contribute, asking for help, having the courage to ask for help, and people around us then arriving to show up to give us a hand. So if you're a leader out there, all I want to tell you is in your organization, you've got underdogs. They are waiting for you. They are waiting for you to find them and to help them throw that pass or to shine in maybe a way that they don't even realize that they're capable of. And if you're sitting there and you're wondering what's next, just know that. It's possible against all odds to move forward, to find a whole nother kind of set of opportunity to contribute, to be involved, to be part of, and to make a difference for others. And that's the cool thing about inspirational stories like the Kurt Warner story. It sort of ignites some, a little bit of a flame that's sitting there for us as the individual, but also that for us to be able, wherever we are, to offer that hand to offer that support to, to help someone move a little bit, to tug them a little bit forward if they're ready to. Thank you. Maybe that's an inspiration for all of us as we think about uh, going through the holiday season and as we transition to the new year. As always, thank you for allowing us to contribute.
and engaging with this on this notion of belonging. It's a much bigger thought than just the idea of a cozy little idea of, quote, being part of it. It's much more complete. It's our human nature that we're unleashing. Thanks. Bye for now. And we'll see you in the new year. Happy New Year, everybody.